Good morning, I'm Penny and today hopefully we are going to be shooting some detailed shots in the forest, or in the wood, I should say. Good morning, hello, and we're going to try and shoot some detail today. Um, it is a very, very flat day. It is very cloudy, uh, no mist, no chance of the weather changing. So it's not ideal light conditions, but we're in the woods. There is loads of green moss and lots of different textures and that's what we're going to go for today. So, so let's see what we can do and make the most of a very, very flat day. I know there's a photo here somewhere. I'm just struggling to find it at this precise moment. So I'm just having a look around to try and see through my camera before I set something up. Okay, so this seems like a completely ridiculous setup, uh, but I think it's gonna be quite a nice picture. So um, <clears throat> I haven't got a tripod that goes this low, but down here I've got my bean bag, which is something I don't use very often, but actually when I need it, it's a fantastic piece of equipment. It's so light, it's got just bean bag, those polystyrene bean bag beans inside. And you can, if you're someone unlike me that's good at sewing, you can make one yourself of uh, hardly anything. I bought this one maybe 10 years ago, maybe more than that. I don't even remember where I bought it from. But sometimes it's very useful. I've got my 100 to 400 lens on and I'm, I'm doing a detail of a tree that I could walk closer to, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but I have used the telephone, come back, and use the telephoto lens and I am right at the 350 end of the lens range to cut out I'm taking a detailed shot of something that's just in front of a tree and I'm trying to bring the tree closer to the detail I'm photographing to cut out any sky and bits and bobs like that and that's a great way of doing it if you use a wide angle lens it'll push the background away and you'll get more of the background but if you want the background to be reduced if you use a telephoto lens it'll bring the background in and then you'll get less of the background and you can cut out bits and pieces that you feel are distracting to your picture okay so uh, with that setup i've just showed you this is what i'm taking a photo of uh it doesn't look very exciting at the moment um but if i zoom back here we go there's a very interesting tree behind there and if you can see on this camera on my camera that I'm doing the video on um, that looks quite a long way away from the subject the tree at the back looks a long way away from the subject in the foreground so and then here we go this is where my camera is relevant to what I'm shooting so it's all very low down and if I stick on live view excuse me bear with me uh, you can see how the uh, telephoto lens has brought the base of the tree to the the subject that I'm shooting at the foreground. So a very, very green picture. <laughs> but we will see. I will show you, uh, like I said before, I'll show you after I've edited it and pop it on the video now. <laughs>
Okay, so um, I've tried to shoot this sort of like um, a mini mm, valley, I suppose, if you were doing an epic sort of landscape. Uh, my sh depth of field is obviously going to be a lot shallower, so I've had to focus on a point, but if I show you the back of the camera, so it'll be coming nice and close. And then what I've done is uh, used a LED light again, torch, and just looked on my live view at the back and to see how how I am. Um, let's see if I can sort of, sort of affect in the light. So let's see now. See if you do that, and then also sort of just creating my own sun really on on this so I'm going to show you the picture um, and I think the LED has uh, torches made it better but we'll find out uh, when I've edited it so that's it um, I hope you have enjoyed this video as well thank you for watching all the way through um, if you like this please subscribe and like it at the bottom uh, and great if you leave a comment that would be amazing as well I'd just like to say you see this see this dead tree here it's a tree that's fallen over it's very depressing this tree here I used to play round when I was a kid and now it's, it's just sort of fallen over and died so it just shows how old one is getting but there we go it doesn't matter new trees are springing up so that would be good uh, anyway had a lovely time. Please subscribe. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next video.